Hello and welcome friends. It often happens that our laptops tend to get slower in course of time. And what we do is we buy a new one and we move on. And the old ones are left lying somewhere. Not anymore, because Google has come up with a software called Chrome OS Flex, which can work with very minimum system requirements on old laptops and desktops. In this video, we are going to see how we can install Chrome OS Flex on our old laptop. Just to let you know that Chrome OS Flex is even lighter, is a lighter version of Chrome OS and it can work on almost all the laptops, the old ones. It is also much more easier to install than Chrome OS. Here what I have is an old Dell laptop. We'll try installing the Chrome OS on this laptop and see how it goes. But before we do that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video if you find it informative for you. So here we have this old laptop, the Dell, in which we are going to install the Chrome OS Flex. So what you need is the Google Chrome browser to have, you need to have it on your system. If not, you can download it on your system. In Chrome, now we'll go to the search bar and we'll download, uh, we'll go to Chrome Utility Center. Okay, type in Chrome Utility Center. We'll go to Google search. The first option, Chrome Recovery Utility, Chrome Web Store, we'll click there. Once we click, this page will open up, which is Chrome Web Store. Here, we'll find the option Chrome Recovery Utility. We need to click on Add to Chrome on the right hand side. Once we click here, this Chrome Recovery Utility gets added up there. Now we click on the top Chrome Recovery Utility. A window gets opened. Create a recovery media for your Chromebook. We need to click Get Started. However, before we do that, we need to ensure we need have we have a pen drive which is more than 8 GB, probably 16 or 32. We need to click on select a model from the list. Once we click on select a model from the list, we get select a manufacturer. Here, we need to select Chrome OS Flex. Once we scroll down, we get the option Chrome OS Flex just under the Chrome OS. So we need to select Chrome OS Flex and then when we click on select a product we need to select Chrome OS Flex unstable click on continue once then we need to plug in the pen drive and select the pen drive minus 20 uh, 32 GB hence it's showing 29.7 and then we can click on create now this will create a bootable pen drive for our laptop to install the Chrome OS Flex on the laptop. This is a time consuming process. So it takes around half an hour to 35 minutes for the entire process to get completed. Okay, so we need to be really patient with this. It does take a lot of time to get completed. Now it's showing eight minutes remaining with 27, 28% completed. Uh, I'll skip, this, skip it and uh, we'll go on to 100%. So now the recovery image is created. It's just six seconds. It's completed now. And uh, once this is done, we go on to the next step. So now 100% is completed. And then we get this success. Your recovery media is ready. We click on done. And then once we click on done, we need to restart our system and uh, the USB drive is ready. So now we'll click on restart. Once we restart, we need to remember that once the system is restarting, we need to get into the BIOS menu of uh, the system. This is a Dell laptop. So we need to press an F12 to get the, get to the BIOS menu. You need to select USB as your primary boot option. Once you do that and install, you get to this page, which would say, welcome to Chrome OS Flex. You need to click on get started. And here you will get two options, install Chrome OS Flex or try first. 
just remember that if you click on install Chrome OS Flex, the entire data on your system would get wiped off. So it, it's always better to take a backup of the data before you do that. I've clicked on, clicked on install Chrome OS Flex and then I move on to the next screen. It says installing Chrome OS Flex. It does take a little time for the entire process. And then we come on to this page, which says accept and continue. We need to accept the terms and conditions and the loading starts. It comes up with a uh, loading Google Assistant. And uh, here's the screen, welcome to your Chrome device. And the installation is complete. So this is our Chrome OS Flex ready to be used. We'll try a few things. Let's quickly open up YouTube and uh, try playing some videos. So YouTube videos are playing absolutely fine without any issues, no lag at all. So the performance is definitely better than what it was earlier. Absolutely no visible lag has been observed and the performance is actually much better than what it was previously when I was using or using Windows. Also, let's try Netflix here. The Netflix is also working absolutely fine without any issues. So the performance is really better. The reason why it is better is because as we know that Chrome OS Flex were, is a cloud-based operating system. So there are no issues with it. Uh, working on gmail gmail opens up quite quickly so for all the basic needs it is a good uh, system now let's quickly have a look at the settings here what we get is uh, the soundbar option the display we also get bluetooth wi-fi connectivity the night light mode so these are the options we get here in the chrome browser and also we have here is the settings page these are the settings you get uh, network settings bluetooth connected devices and other settings so so that's about it do hit the like button if you find the video informative and subscribe to the channel for more such informative videos thank you